Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss about long acting injectable flufenthixol deconiate. I am Dr. Suresh Badadmat, Professor of Psychiatry, working at National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences, Bangalore. In this video, I will be discussing about flufenthixol deconiate injections. Conflict of interest is none. No person, no industry or any pharma company has paid money to do this video. This video is for purely academic purpose. Let's discuss about flufenthixol deconiate. It is a first generation antipsychotic. It also has anxiolytic and sedative action. It exerts weak anticholinergic and adrenergic effect also. It possesses anti-emetic action. Hence, in olden days, it was used as an anti-emetic agent also. The mechanism of action is by D2 blockade, that is antagonizing D2 receptors. Hence, it causes extrapyramidal side effects. Let's understand how fluofenthixol is available in the market. It is available as an ampule 20 mg and also 40 mg. 20 mg per ml or 40 mg per 2 ml is available. These are injections. However, oral tablets are also available. Tablet flufenthixol 0.5 mg, 1 mg and 3 mg is also available. Let's understand the mechanism of action. As I mentioned, flufenthixol deconiate acts by blocking D2 receptors. Flufenthixol deconates achieves the steady state approximately about 3 months after the administration. If you look at the receptor profile, antagonism of D2 receptor and also 5-HT2 receptor. The preferential binding to D4 and D3 receptor is also there. A balanced D2 to D1 antagonism causes decreased side effect compared to other first generation antipsychotics, especially injectables. It also affects serotonin binding at 5-HT2A and 5-HT2C receptor as well as non-adrenaline binding at 1-adrogenic receptor. Hence, it is also used as a depression, antidepressant agent and also anxiolytic agent. Let's look into the pharmacological profile of lufenthixol and it is considered to be a atypical antipsychotic. Although it was produced in the 70, 1970s, it was considered to be atypical because it was also an antidepressant and also anxiolytic. Flufenthixol resembled tricyclic antidepressant. Hence, nowadays, the flufenthixol is also used as a tablet form, especially in anxiety disorder. Based on the receptor action, flufenthixol has been labeled as a partial atypical neuroleptics. How to start flufenthixol deconiate? The usual dosage of flufenthixol deconiate is 20 to 40 mg every two weeks once. The half-life is 3 to 8 days. For the person who is receiving flufenthixol deconiate for the first time should receive only 20 mg. Based upon the response, you may have to either increase or continue the same dosage. Before you give the next dosage, you have to wait for at least one week for giving the second dosage. How to convert oral dosage into IM? If the patient is receiving 5 mg of oral flofenthixol tablet, then you need to multiply by 4. Let's understand how the IM injection is initiated. Before you start, many of the psychiatrists do advocate stabilizing the patient on oral flufenthixol and then to give flufenthixol injection deconiate for maintenance treatment. Once you have given the oral antipsychotics over a period of 2 months and now it is the time to shift over. On the day 0 you will give 20 mg of flufenthixol deconiate and you will continue the oral medication also. After 2 weeks, you will give 40 mg flufenthixol if he requires. 
or else you will continue 20 mg only. After again the 30th day, you will give 40 mg and you will continue this dosage based upon the patient's clinical response. And my dear friends, Flofenthixol Deconate is very effective in chronic psychosis. A Cochrane review done in 2014 by Mahapatra and his colleagues discussed about the Flofenthixol Deconate for schizophrenia and psychotic disorder. The researchers reviewed 15 randomized controlled trials comprising of 626 participants. Unfortunately, none of the trial compared flufethixol deconate with placebo. The researchers concluded, in the current state of evidence, there is nothing to choose between flufethixol deconate and other depo-antipsychotics. That means, flufethixol was equally effective as any other antipsychotic. Authors concluded that data reports are very low and very poor quality of the data is available. Hence, it is very difficult to give any strong recommendation. However, clinical experience says flufenthixol deconate is very, very effective in chronic psychosis. The authors have suggested to have a well-conducted RCT study, head-to-head -head comparison and also comparison with placebo may give a good data with regard to flufenthixol deconate. What are the side effects of flufenthixol deconate? Weight gain, Parkinsonism, anticholinergic side effects, sedation, hypotension, akathisia, NMS and pain at the site of injection. To conclude my dear friends, although flufenthixol is a typical antipsychotics because of its receptor profile, anxiolytic property and sedative property, it is also considered as atypical in nature. It is available as a both oral tablet and long-acting injectables. At this point of time, research did not show any evidence that flufenthixol is better than any other antipsychotics. It is equivalent to any other depot preparation. However, flufenthixol is very economical. Hence, it can be easily prescribed in any patients. However, we need to trade with certain side effects. Thank you very much for giving your valuable time. Stay safe.